Hey everyone, it's Tuesday! Okay, so the theme for this week's video was uh, a, a memory from your childhood, and we didn't really have any kind of context or like any stipulations on what kind of memory we could use, so I just picked a memory that's very vivid in my brain and something that I know for sure I can run through and I wouldn't like mess up in spots because a lot of the time my memory is kind of sketchy and I remember some parts but not everything. This is one memory that's like very clear in my head. So I was in fourth or third grade. I'm not really sure which grade but it was in between those two. And I was playing one night with my Britney Spears doll. And she was the doll that was dressed, I mean I had multiple dolls but this one specifically was one that was dressed up like her Hit Me Baby One More Time video. And um... I remember thinking her hair was really ugly to me, and I hated it, so in my bright mind of third or fourth grade, I can't really remember too much of what I was thinking before it happened, but I, I know I didn't like her hair, and I wanted to cut it, or at least take the elastic band out, so I went in the kitchen, and I thought it'd be a great idea to get adult scissors, they were purple, and I took the doll, I went back into the living room, I took the doll, took the scissors, and I sat her in my lap, I held her hair with one hand, and um, this is efficient, like, uh, not efficient, but like, this is the same hand, so you get a better reenactment. I held her hair with one hand, and I took the blade of the scissors, and I opened it up, and I stuck one of the blades underneath the elastic, and instead of just closing the scissors and cutting it, I thought it'd be more effective to rip it up, and as I was doing that, I guess the blade of the scissors, like, pulled against my skin, because from the tip to the first bend in my pointer finger, um, I had a big slit, like a big cut, and I remember screaming because I was bleeding, and I'd never really cut myself or hurt myself before, I've never broken any bones or anything, so I wasn't familiar with what to do in this kind of emergency, so the best thing I could think of was scream. My mom came running in, she's like, oh my god, what happened? And she took me to the kitchen, she rinsed it in her water, and I remember screaming because that burned, and then she took me to my grandma, and my grandma was like, well... I guess all they will do at the hospital is either give her butterfly stitches or butterfly band-aids or real stitches. And at this point, I didn't know real stitches. Th that seemed like more trouble and um, more sharp objects touching my skin. And all I could think about was, please God, do not make me get stitches. So, I guess somebody, I don't really know who decided, but somebody decided that I didn't really need anything or I didn't really need to go to the doctor or the hospital. So they took a few band-aids and some gauze and cleaned it up, wrapped it up. And for a week and a half, maybe two weeks after, I just had different band-aids and or gauze on my finger. And finally it closed up, and I have a very faint little scar. You can't really tell anymore. I can still, if I rub this, I can still kind of flash back, and I remember what it felt like, and I don't know. It's really gross and creepy, and I do not suggest anybody touching my finger, because I don't like it. Um, but essentially, from that story, there's one thing I learned. Do not ever try to cut your Britney Spears doll with a pair of adult scissors. Or at least do not, I don't know, do not play with Britney Spears doll. I can't say that I learned not to play with scissors because I still use them. I still probably misuse them a lot. And, um, that's my childhood memory. I don't know if you already know this about me. But if you did already know, then I guess you get more information about what happened. And if you didn't, now you know why I don't like Britney Spears action figure dolls. So, um, you will all see me next week. I will see you later. And I will see you tomorrow, Kylie. Bye!